up guys it's your girl taylor welcome back to my channel and if you're new here i'm taylor um today's video is going to be another makeup tutorial um and it's going to be on this bright vibrant sunset vibe look um great for summer and spring the star of the show in today's video is the jaclyn hill volume 2 palette i was so excited to play around with this palette because look at how pretty it is so um if you guys want to see how i got this look just keep on watching Okay, so we are starting out with our eyebrows done and our eyelids primed. We're using the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Volume 2 palette. This is a very pretty palette. I couldn't wait to just play around with it and create this nice look. So we're going to start out using that yellow shade in the palette, which is called um, No Joke. I'm just going to start blending that into my crease because this is going to be our transition shade. Okay, so next we're going to go back into the palette using that bright orange shade called My Man. And I almost dropped the palette there. I'm just going to pop that into my crease also just to deepen it up a little bit. Um, this is just going to give the eye a little bit more depth and to help us achieve that sunset look we're going for. So I'm just going to build that up into the crease. And then you will also see me go back in with that brush that I use for the yellow just so that we don't use that in transition. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here, just using that yellow shade to add a little bit. Alright, so next we're going back into the palette and we're going to use this bright pink shade called Tipsy Girl. Um, I'm going to use that to start deepening up that inner and outer corner and also taking a little bit of that into the crease. This is going to start to create that halo eye effect. Um, so yes, you'll see me just building that up in the inner and outer corner and then just blending it in the middle into the crease. So yes, these um, shadows are very pigmented, so you want to take your time and not just, you know, go in full force, take your time and build them up. Okay, next you're going to see me go back into the palette and use this nice raspberry shade um, it's called dance party and I'm going to use that also just to deepen up that inner and outer corner and crease a little bit more I use a ton of shades you guys will see to achieve this look um, but I'm very happy with how it turned out all right next I'm going to go back in with that concealer and a brush and we are going to start to carve out that halo or the center of our eye um, which is going to give us that halo effect um, the halo just depends on your liking you see me there just look up to make sure that I get go carve it out all the way up to the crease um, all right now you see me going into the palette and using that certified shade it looks cream in the palette but it really shows up kind of white on the eye um, but it works so that's what I'm using to set that concealer that I use to carve out the halo eye having a dance party <laughs> And 
then I'm also going back in with that brush just to blend. You don't want anything to look blocky. You want to make sure everything looks blended. Alright, here you see me going back into the palette and dipping into that I'm in it shade. It looks white on camera, but it's literally like a pearly shade. Next, I am applying the Velour Foaming Glashes in the Style Wars Behavior. And then here you see me using the Benefit Professional Primer. Um, I'm just going to put that all over my face. Um, okay, now I am going in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I am in the shade 345. Um, and I'm just going to put that on my face and blend it out with my beauty sponge. Um, I'm going to start to build up the coverage of the foundation because it's not completely full coverage right away. So you'll see me apply multiple layers of this foundation and I'm just going to blend it out. Now I am going in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer and I am the shade 350 in this. I am just going to use that to conceal my under eye, highlight the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. I am taking this beauty sponge and blending that out as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna blend, blend, blend. Next, I am going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick and I am in the shade Walnut. I like to use a brush to kind of warm it up and, you know, put it onto my face. It just blends better that way. Um, I just don't like to use the actual stick and put it on my face. I just don't feel like it blends as well. So this is the way that works best for me. So I'm just going to blend that out on my forehead and to cream contour my cheekbones. Also taking a smaller brush here and using the foundation stick to contour my nose. Um, put a little bit too much on, that's why I made the face, but I blend it out anyway, so. Here I am taking my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder and I use the shade Banana. 
taking a smaller beauty sponge and just applying that in all the areas that I use my highlighting concealer. So you'll see me using that under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose. I think I did put it on my forehead and then my chin as well. Um, and this just helps prevent creasing in the under eye and it also just brightens up that under eye a little bit more. That's why I love, love, love this setting powder. Now I am taking my Morphe Hi-Fi 8H Highlight and Contouring Palette and I'm using the two of the contouring shades. They are called Donut and Blogger. I like to mix them for my contour so I am just setting that cream contour with these. Um, yeah. I'm going to use that to set everywhere that I just cream contoured. Next, I am using my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I am in the shade Mahogany, um, and I'm just going to use this to set my entire face and just help the contour, highlight, everything just blend together seamlessly. Now I am using my Tarte Pro Glow Palette. I am going to use both of the blushes in the palette. They are called Premiere and Dance Floor. And I am just going to use those on the apples of my cheek and a little bit on the tip of my nose. Now I am going back in with the eyeshadow palette we used. I am going to use that orange and that pink shade just to smoke out my lower lash line. I love the way that color on the lower lash line looks. I feel like it just looks so weird not having anything on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna smoke out my lower lash line with that orange and that pink shade that we used earlier. Here I am also applying more of that pearly shade in my inner corner just to make it pop a little bit more. Now I am going in with the Wonder Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. I am just using this on my lower lashes. Here we are having a brief intermission. This is what takes me so long to get ready. Um, now I am using my Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Um, I kept looking at it because it was coming out super weird, but yes, just setting my face. And then I am going in with my Laura Geller um, Gilded Honey Highlighter. And I am just highlighting my cheekbones. And then I'm also going to highlight the tip and bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow so yeah that's what i'm doing right now now 
now I am going in with my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner and it is in the shade Downtown Beauty. This is my all time favorite lip liner or one of my all time favorite lip liners. So I'm just going to use that to line my lips and I also filled like the rest of my lip in a little bit with it. Now I am going in with the Jeffree Star X Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mannequin. Um, I really love this liquid lipstick. I should have just left it like this, but kept on adding other things. So I'm just patting that down a little bit. All right, next I'm going in with this KKW lipstick. This is the one number one nude shade in her collection. Um, then I'm just going on top with a little bit more of the lip liner because I felt like it was looking a little bit too pale. Alright guys, so that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.